in less than three hours time, Sky, Harvey and Bruno and Buddy will face the toughest forceful challenge yet. Each trainer has devised a rigorous test. They can't influence the results, and with their reputations on the line, they can only hope that the dogs and their owners won't let them down. The test today will be marked by a tough, independent assessor. Ryan O'Meara is a dog trainer and a breed expert. His word is final in deciding who will graduate from Dog Borstal. Sky's owner Pete is first up to face the judge. It's always going to be hard and it's literally going to be as close to the real world as it, he can possibly have it. Before Borstal, aggressive Sky would attack other dogs and couldn't be controlled. Now she has to prove she can share a field without losing her cool. First thing you're going to do, get your dog in and out of the kennels. Almost immediately, things start to go wrong. A refusal to be harnessed could result in an immediate fail. Panicked by this bad start, will Pete be able to hold his nerve? Around the field are more dogs within close range than Skye has ever had to deal with. One in particular catches her eye. Sky now has to remain completely calm whilst the closer. Starting to lose it, he's starting to not concentrate. Sit. This could be really easily how he starts getting flustered at this point. Sit. Finally, Sky has to clear a number of obstacles within feet of the judge's dogs. doing really, really well. Six. Keep it up, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Test over. I'd give him a distinction, but it's not my call. However, I'm proud of him. Right, some news for you, and it's good. Yeah. She's passed. Brilliant. With distinction. Good girl, aren't you? You were very consistent towards her. You didn't get her panicked, so she was, eventually, she did it perfectly. Yeah. The rest of Britain's dogs are safe now. Fantastic. Perfect. Oh, no, We'd never envisage anything her uh, sitting on the field with dogs 20 yards away now. I've never thought this could happen. I think she's been a star. Next in the line of fire is little Prince Harvey. For his test, the judge has requested to meet outside Borstal grounds. I'm really nervous and I can't believe it. I've never seen her nervous like this, so it's possible it'll all just go to pieces and she'll forget all that she's learned and it might go really badly wrong. Before coming to Borstal, Half Pint Harvey was an anti-social yob. Can he now prove he's no longer a menace to society? Any aggressive behaviour will be marked down against him. But almost immediately, Harvey sniffs a fight. Leave. Harvey, leave. Leave! I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. I just really want her to do it, you know. Leave. Harvey, leave. Danielle must now firmly discipline him to avoid failing the test. Leave. Harvey seems to get the message. Within meters of another dog, Harvey acts as if he just doesn't care. The test is over, but will Harvey be awarded a certificate or an ASBO? He has to have got a distinction. Everything that I was led to believe he could do wrong, he was given the opportunity to do wrong. And the one time he met a dog that sort of faced up to him at his own level, he did have a little bark, but you corrected him perfectly. He passed. With distinction. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Hey, thank There's your certificate. You. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> I feel absolutely ecstatic. I couldn't be happier. She did so well. She tried really hard. She didn't lose her nerve. He's the king. Finally, 
Bruno and Buddy are up before the judge. I was awake at five o'clock this yeah. morning, wondering about how the day's going to go, how Bruno's going to perform for me. Before Borstal, this pair of out-of-control mobsters treated their owners like servants. Oh, they're sick. Has Mick been able to teach these tearaways the meaning of respect? The judge wants to test each dog separately. Ange is handling Bruno, the dog she most disliked at the start of the week. Can you demonstrate your dog on the agility course? Hup. Hup. Down. Stay. Bruno behaves well for Ange. But now, it's husband Mark's turn. If he can't show control over little Buddy, both of them could fail. Up. Run, 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 run. Up. You didn't run early enough. Dame! Dame! He's not doing it down. He's just not staying down at all. Fail this test, probably. He's just stop it now, for fuck's sake. Put him out of his misery. Wait. No. Nah. No. Nah. Finally, both owners are asked to work as a team. Back. Back. And Mark knows he has to pull out all the stops. Heel. Heel. Back. Back. Heel. That's pretty good. Here. Heel. Heel. Mark successfully raises his game, but with time now up. Sit. Have they earned parole? Or is it back to the doghouse for Buddy and Bruno? It would be nice to finish off on a high for the two of them. Especially Ange, I think, because I think she's done really well. Both passed. Thank you. Thank you. With distinction. Oh, oh cracking. If the target was to get control of the dogs, you really have got control of the dogs. It makes such a difference to our lives. Thank you very much. Well done. Cheers, Ryan. Well Thank well you. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Mm. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Cheers, Rick. Thanks a lot. How would you feel? Absolutely fantastic. I'm buzzing. It's no going yeah. back now, is it really? No. Cheers. No. Nah. <laughs> Don't spoil it. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. It's been a successful week at Dog Borstal. All the dogs have passed with distinction. But have they changed for good? <laughs>